Hello, and welcome to another episode of Safety Unfiltered. I'm your host, Mike Matthews, Digital Marketing Director for Velocity View, creators of the Safety Assist mobile application. We provide tools to help companies improve worksite safety and OSHA compliance. In this episode, I'm speaking with CEO and co-founder of Velocity View, Steve Kuntz. Steve will be speaking on what led him to co-found our organization and the origins of Safety Assist and why he has a passion for safety and regulatory compliance. So first of all, Steve, thanks for doing this. And I think that it would be very interesting for a lot of folks just to hear, why did you decide to co-found a company that was focused on construction safety? Well, Mike, thank you for having me. That's a good question. I'll try to make it as short an answer as possible. I was in the technology sector since 1982. I mean, I've worked for a lot of large corporations and I got to a certain point in my career where I wanted to see if I could start a company and get out of the corporate life and get into the entrepreneurial life. But I also wanted to do something that was not just for me and my family, which is what I was doing in the corporate life. I was doing sales and I was making money, and but I wasn't doing anything for society or anything like that. So kind of got to that point in my life where I was like, well, let's see if I can do something on my own, but also do something meaningful to others. And so I started meeting with entrepreneurs and I started also meeting some venture capitalists and long story short, was pointed in the direction of my background being a good fit for the technology gap that's in the construction industry. So I started connecting with associations such as ABC or AGC and uh, started asking them about the technology gap within construction. But as those conversations moved on, I would say, what could a new company do that would be meaningful to the construction industry? And they all said safety. So it kind of struck me, okay, safety. So I started talking with some safety directors because I said, introduce me to some people. If you've heard our podcast, you've heard Pat Walsh. He was one of the first people that I met. He's a safety instructor. And they started talking about that I need to go out and walk some sites and I need to see how dangerous it is on a construction site. You know, it's something that you just have to see in person. So I connected with a couple of safety directors who were nice enough to let me walk the sites. And it was it was amazing experience the first time. What did you see? Like it just made you go, oh my god. Well, <laughs> well I mean, you, you see you see this fluid environment, and you see all these different specialty companies, uh, contractors in there, doing their things on top of each other. You see some debris on the floor. Yeah, you know, I've seen people stand on the top rung of a ladder, twelve foot ladder. But I also have seen the safety directors and supervisors go out of their way to help people and try to make them safe, even if it's not their own company. So it was kind of meaningful for me on that. I'll tell you a funny little story, though. So when you go on site, you have to have your your PPE. And so never been on a construction site. I didn't have any. So I went out and bought a new vest and a new hard hat and and glasses and earplugs and things like that, but also some steel toe shoes. And I walk on site, and there's a number of workers there, and one of them just kept looking at me. And so I was just kind of looking back at him and and he finally said, so he was looking at me and I was kind of looking at him. And so finally he walks up to me and goes, those are some shiny new boots. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, I, was, I, I felt like I was back in being a, a rookie again, you know, uh, yeah. 1982 where I'm like, I'm out of my element. So um, I just poured myself into it. I, I would go. To, I joined these associations. I met as many people as I possibly could. I used LinkedIn to reach out to people. I listened to everyone that would talk to me. I would go to all these seminars. I'd read and, and white papers and conferences and read anything that I can about safety. And it became apparent to me that this was something that would be meaningful and that I could do. So I hope that wasn't too long, but that's what got me there. No, that's perfect. It illustrates the point. And you've been doing this for how long? Since 2007, early 2017. I'm still learning every day, but I certainly know and respect what goes on in construction. I mean, quite frankly, if it wasn't for construction, we'd all be living in the woods. So it's right. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of an important industry. Look, I, I love log houses as much as anyone else, but uh, you know, since 2017, you've been doing this. What's been keeping that fire? A burning for you as far as construction site safety? It really is that we can do something that would reduce the fatality, accident, and incident rates. So, you know, OSHA came in in the early 70s and 
early on in construction in the 30s, 40s, 50s, there were tens and twenties of thousands of people dying every year in U.S. construction. And OSHA has greatly reduced that since, I think, 1972. Mm-hmm. And now it's been around anywhere between 100 and 1,000 fatalities a year. But that's been that number for the last 10 to 12 years. So my hope is that we could try to do something that would move that needle. And that's really what kind of keeps me up at night and what you know makes me happy to get up in the morning. And I'll, I'll tell you why this really means something is, you know, again, 40 years in corporate life, you know, when you think about what is business, it's all about hitting a schedule, hitting a budget, making sure your work is quality. And that's kind of it. But that's not it in, in construction. It's those three things plus safety. And when I worked in those 40 years, I never once was worried about going home the same way I arrived at work. Yeah. Never, I never crossed my mind once. And when I went to these sites and heard from these 20, 30 year safety directors, that was something they told me. This is our goal. We want to make sure everybody who comes here goes home the same way they came here. And it's just a thought I never had. So that's what drives me is how can we do something from a technology perspective that moves that needle and reduces fatalities, accidents, and incidents. Thank you for listening to Safety Unfiltered. In our upcoming episodes, Steve and I will be continuing our discussion about the origins of Safety Assist and our passion for bringing workers home safe. We will also have special guests from the private and military sectors speaking on safety. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our content. If you have any ideas or thoughts on future show episodes, let us know. And as always, be safe.